All right, here we go. Dylan Derby right side in the Ram. And wait on the car next night for him to take off. There he goes. Top end. 1193-113. We have, as you see, we have door panels on. We have the full interior. We got a center console, passenger seat, absolutely everything. Carpet, floor mats. We have the back paneling. The toolbox storage is still in the truck, guys. And we had a full tank of nitrous that obviously we was not using. But point being, truck is bone freaking full weight. What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having an awesome day out there. As you can see, we're at Atlanta Dragway. And we have a beautiful day here. We're running in the NMCA muscle car event in the True Street class. They're also doing NMRA here. And guys, there's a ton of cars here running the True Street class, as you can see. Check out all these cars right here. Every one of these cars are running the True Street class, and that is badass. So how the True Street class works, we did race in this event last year with Frostbite. And what you have to do is you have to go out on a 30 mile cruise and you have to make the cruise. You can't break down during the cruise or anything like that. And then as soon as you come back off the cruise, they're gonna pull us over here to the staging lines and we're gonna go straight to racing. You have to make three back-to-back -back hot laps. You can't change anything on the car. You can't pop the hood. You can't do anything. You have to have a car that has a tag, insurance, DOT tires, uh, passenger seats, the whole nine. It has to be a street type car. And guys, what we're shooting for is we're gonna try to go uh, in the 12 class. We're gonna try to shoot for the 12 second class. Um, we got all the stuff we just changed up, so I don't I don't think we're gonna be very competitive running 11s right now. So we're gonna try to run 12s. That's my goal today is to run 12 second passes and maybe a couple 11 nines if possible. Uh, but we want to shoot for a 12 second pass on our average, and that's how they do it. They take the three passes and they average them out, and that is your time for your class. So whoever has the fastest time in the class wins the True Street event in that time slot. So other than that, guys, that's it. Here we go, Dylan Derby right side in the Ram. And wait on the car next night for him to take off. There he goes. Top end. 1193-113 to a 1001.
As next up, we'll card 1993 Taylor Dillon Derby. Again, continuing on about the Great Folks Model of Motorsport. They have uh, positions open in South Carolina, Michigan, uh, Tennessee, Arkansas, New York. Our fans all right so we got some time slips here and unfortunately I did not win the 12 second bracket we got beat by literally a microscopic number it was so oh I'm still crushed over it because I just knew we had it in a bag and uh, you just never know when you run the true street class they kind of say it's a gamble and pure luck to win it man but I thought we sure had it in the bag guys but Anyway, let me go over what, what we did. So on the first pass, we ran a 11.933. That's the slip. And then on pass two, we ran a 12.151. That was the second pass. And I did end up screwing up a little bit of the shift on one shift. And then on the third pass, I was shooting for a 12-0 or like another 11-9 and change. And we hit the number that we wanted. We ran a 12-0-45, which averaged out my uh, three-pass average. I believe it came out to a 12-0-4-3 is what my average was in the bracket. I mean, that's pretty damn good. So I just knew we probably had it in the bag. Well, somebody, someone got me. And they ended up going out with a 12.032 average. I mean, they just barely got us, guys. And that's just how it is. Um, you know, you just never know. You could have a guy that runs a couple high 11s and then cracks, you know, a 12.1 or something. You averaged out and you get lucky sometimes. And that's probably what happened. But other than that, hey, we made some hits. We learned a lot on the new setup on the truck with the new transmission from Coke. And... We worked out some bugs and we got the truck hauling pretty good for uh, this bracket and uh, I'm more than happy. Again, we were racing the truck off of the converter. We did not trans brake launch it or anything. We just ran it off the converter. We changed a lot of things up um, trying to learn this converter because it is a lot bigger. But we did pretty damn good and I'm happy with the truck. I'm happy with the performance. Also the DA today with these three runs we just did was a 3000 DA with 92% humidity. 
Uh, we had a rainstorm come through last yesterday that wiped out the whole track, so they moved everything to today. And uh, granted, it does feel pretty good out here, but we we had close to a 3,000 DA, a lot of humidity this morning. It was, I mean, fog everywhere. You couldn't see anything. Lots of moisture out here. A lot of moisture out here this morning, and uh, we ran some good numbers in in some good some hot heat guys 3000 da and what we just did I'm, I'm more than stoked with it also the truck's full weight right now guys come follow me i'll show you exactly how it was when we raced today we have as you see we have door panels on we have the full interior we got a center console passenger seat absolutely everything carpet floor mats we have the back paneling the toolbox storage is still in the truck, guys, and we had a full tank of nitrous that obviously we, we was not using. But point being, truck is bone freaking full weight. We took nothing out of this truck. If I would have took some weight out, we would have cracked, you know, high 11s all day long easily. Um, but I didn't want to take any weight out. I want to run the truck full weight. It's hot out here. We're not going to run good numbers right now in the season. It's too hot. The DA's not going to be great. I'm gonna save all that stuff for the fall. We're gonna run this truck just like it sits the rest of the summer and me just learn the truck, learn the shifter, learn the new transmission, and we're just gonna have fun, guys. And uh, when fall gets here, we're gonna gut it down some. We're gonna start using the trans brake. And we're gonna let it damn run. But other than that, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.